Hey guys, it's uh, the end of the day here. We're uh, making pizza right now in the oven. Just relaxing with the dogs. Of course, Beacon's over there. It's girls. And Rusty's there with a stick in his mouth. <laughs> silly dogs. Silly, silly dogs. So today I decided to shave off the beard. Let me know what you think in the comments. Keep the beard or get rid of the beard. You tell me. I usually grow grow it out in the wintertime. Not like super, super long. Just maintain it. Uh, wintertime, I like to have one. But in the summertime, I usually don't have one. Didn't do any cutting of any trees today. I got still a couple. They just need to go. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. Get up early and do that. So we got the cabin site pretty much cleared. Today was just, uh, I was busy doing quotes today and I had to, uh, excuse me. I had to run up to uh, the next town, which is like, I don't know, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes away. Not Oxford, the next one. Armorish, I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, put some money in the bank for my car payment or my truck payment and insurance. Deacon, Deacon, who are you barking at? Who are you barking at? I don't think there's a squirrel up there. I think you're barking at nothing. Who are you barking at? Ooh, that looks like. Ooh, maybe there is a squirrel up there, huh? Is there a squirrel up there? Well, if he is, he ain't up to no more because you've scared the crap out of him. Are you done? Are you done? Okay. Shh. Silence. I'm trying to make a video. Be quiet. Oh, he's definitely up there. Gotta be quiet. <laughs> See you long now, huh? <laughs> But yeah, I went up and uh, put some money in the bank for my uh, for my truck payment and insurance. Money is getting really tight again, so we need to get some work. Hopefully, I do. I spent the morning quoting jobs, and then I quoted uh, another one this evening. So hopefully, some of that comes up. It's not going to come up right away, though. So I don't know. Things are getting tight again. <laughs> But I'm usually really, really good with my finances and, and saving money and stuff. Uh, I invested in uh, I invested in cryptocurrency over the winter, and I made money on it, and then I cashed it out, and then I reinvested back into it, and then it went plummeted. So I took out what I had left in there. Uh, to live off because there were there was no work throughout the winter and uh funds just dissipated after that so now i have to rebuild my account back up to <laughs> at least get at least get you know something in there like 10 15 000, something like that start rebuilding the back up again but that really sucked but that's what happens when you try to Try to better your life and invest, right? You never you never know what's gonna happen. I mean, if I had been able to keep the money in there, it would have been still there today, obviously. You don't lose money investing unless you take it out. So, but I had to take it out in order to get this camper, get this property and, uh, and stuff like that, so. But it is what it is. You're living and you learn, right? So. Just got to keep moving forward. And that's the plan. We'll keep digging into this as we get more and more money. Uh, said the next step after I get all the trees down is to get uh, an excavator in here and stump this out. Beacon, quiet. Shh. Shh. 
to put the cabin there. So the cabin's going to be elevated off the ground. I'm starting to even wonder if I should stump it out. But I do need to get through like this, uh, this top ground because it's like soft and stuff, right? So I probably will have to take the excavator and pull back this material off the edge and get some of these stumps. I just don't know where this material is going to go. <laughs> Somewhere to put it. And I will be putting in a septic over here somewhere. Somewhere over here. Somewhere that's accessible for, uh, for cleaning it out. Because the cabin will basically come... I marked it out yesterday. So we're going to do a 20 by 35 cabin. So the cabin, I think... It's going to come over to here. Yeah, right here. So right here, here, all the way over to the edge of the bank. It's 20 feet. And then from here, all the way up there to that maple tree is 35. So we'll be fairly close to these trees behind here because the property line is right there anyway. So... We're going to try and get 35 out of it. If it's not 35, it'll probably be 33 at its uh, closest point. But I can always move it down that way a tiny bit further too if I really wanted to. We'll see once we get the excavator in here and gets it cleared out. I'm hoping these guys are not going to be a problem. But they may be a problem, this one. Because the root system goes out further. So, we'll see. <clears throat> it's either I get an excavator in here and clear this out or I have to uh, I probably have to get a bobcat in here with one of those uh, one of those ground auger bits I don't know what they're called now I guess it's called a ground auger <laughs> and drill drill holes down because I'm going to have to uh, I think I'm going to use those uh those cardboard columns for, for concrete and pour them, pour the concrete columns here for the, for the cabin. And then the cabin will sit on, uh, the cabin will probably sit on two by six or six by six post and then timber frame, uh, two by six, uh, foundation kind of foundation thing. And then we'll do, uh, we'll probably do, uh, Probably do a two by six floor system, 16 inch, 16 inches apart, and then we'll insulate that and uh, build off of that. And we'll kick out over the embankment here. I actually thought about doing maybe two by eight for the floor just because of the weight, just because of the deck, but I'm not sure if it's necessary because it, because we're going with uh. Two by uh, two by six, sixteen inch on center. So there's going to be a lot more two by six in the floor. So that may not be necessary. The the deck is going to be suspended, so it'll be a part of the floor system, and it'll suspend out over here like eight feet. I don't want any like posts or anything from the deck going down. I just want it suspended out over this edge, right? and there'll never be huge weight on the deck or anything. Although it would be nice to put a hot tub on. <laughs> Even like a, a small 110 uh, blow up hot tub on it. They hold a lot of water still. It was a lot of weight. Maybe I'll look into that. Maybe it will get upgraded to 2x8. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I think that's it for today's video. We're going to relax and have some pizza. I'm going to feed the boys. Beacon is going to. is going to. Just bark his head off at the at the squirrels. <laughs> What's he barking at, Rusty? What's he barking at? Is he barking at squirrels? Oh, you're bringing me a stick. Ow! You just dropped that on my toe. Ow! That hurt. You know you dropped that on my toe. Get it. Get it. What? Can you try with me? Go get it. Hey guys, we're gonna have some food and relax and I'll talk to you on the next one. Have a great day guys.